Hello fellow astronomy enthusiasts. This presentation is all about how to adjust the optics in your telescope, your Newtonian telescope, in order to get the best possible views or the best photographic images of the universe we all love so much. Checking the information available online or in books and you'll find all kinds of different methods of aligning the telescope mirrors. Chief among them are uh, autocollimation methods and the star test. I'm going to show you the uh, older method of autocollimation first. I won't get into the star test. Both of them are pretty much equal in what they can do. Uh, but as you'll discover uh, through your research, this method is significantly improved over all other methods of uh, aligning your telescope mirrors. Okay, so the old method employed using a small light, a grain of rice bulb that was introduced between the eyepiece, the autofocuser eyepiece, and the secondary mirror, and you'd look down through the eyepiece and look for the multiple reflections that would occur from the bulb. Okay, so this older method certainly worked well, but the problem uh, was that you'd lose your night vision in trying to make this adjustment, and of course you needed multiple hands down the front uh, of the telescope. Uh, you know, you need at least uh, two or three hands to do this simultaneously uh, down the, the uh, tube. Uh, so this, of course, was difficult. Now, on a new method, uh, the first order is you have to remove a little bit of the aluminized surface of your mirror. This is an 8-inch mirror. You uh, take the optics out. This is a 3-inch mirror, and I'll remove some of the, um, uh, the aluminized surface. This doesn't cause any harm to the telescope. It lies in the shadow of the uh, secondary mirror, so it's a totally harmless kind of a process. And the other thing you need to do is to have a light to install uh, an adjustable brightness LED light at the tailpiece of your telescope directly behind the hole uh, created in the center of your mirror, the, or the scratch surface of your mirror. And uh, you, it's nice to be able to vary the brightness and you might have a second bulb outside of the tailpiece so that you can see what's going on as you adjust the uh, bolts on the uh, primary mirror. Turn the unit on, adjust the brightness, install the autocollimator eyepiece, and peer down through your telescope and start to make adjustments. Uh, your Newtonian telescope should be constantly maintained in an alignment as uh, this will drift with uh, environmental variations even as you uh, shift from one part of the sky to the next. So the goal is to keep the uh, red spot center on center uh, as you adjust your telescope while looking through uh, the uh, autocollimation eyepiece. Uh, we see uh, adjustment of both the primary and secondary mirrors. Um, the uh, secondary mirror is adjusted just by uh, you know holding the, the uh, secondary in your hand and uh, gently shifting the position. With my newer collimation method uh, outlined here, where you uh, have your hands free or hand free to adjust your secondary mirror, and you can do it in uh, total darkness. The uh, method is uh, so easy to perform that you'll find yourself checking it and repeating it multiple times during your observing sessions to keep your optics in top notch. The overall accuracy of this technique is similar to or exceeds all other methods in practice. It's actually much better. It can be performed under varied lighting conditions. Uh, it can be done without loss of night vision. And it leaves one hand free to adjust the secondary continuous monitoring during the process will also lead to greater and more accurate results.